Welcome to Denise's Total Wellness, where we are helping people over 50 live healthy lives. And now here's your host, Denise Jackson Rose. Welcome, welcome to Denise Total Wellness. This is my second edition of my talk show where I will be talking to people over the age of 50 about their health challenges and goals. And today I am so excited for my second guest to have my oldest, my oldest brother, Stanley Jackson, be my guest today. Hey, Denise. Hey, Stan, how are you? I'm great, you? I'm great. How's the weather in Atlanta? Uh, it's in the 50s. Nice. Okay, great. Now, would you introduce yourself to my guest for people that's watching DTW? I couldn't hear the question, but I believe you just asked to give an intro. I asked you to introduce yourself to the people that's watching. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stanley Jackson. I'm Denise's oldest brother, 64 years old. Uh, I'm self-employed mold inspector in Atlanta. And I'm doing the TLC products with my sister. Uh, what else? Married, uh, two children, boy and a girl, and six grandchildren, three boys and three girls. Very good, very good. Hey, Donna, <laughs> hey, Donna how are you? Well, that's good. That um... Excuse me, excuse me. For some reason, I can't hear you. Oh, can you uh, turn the volume up maybe? Can't hear you. Can you turn your volume? Okay. Try it now. Can you hear me now? Nope. What it's 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 uh it's scramble when you talk. It's scramble when I talk. Okay. Um can you hear me now? Now I can. Okay. Is that better? Yes. All right. So, uh, yeah, so you introduced yourself. You live in Atlanta, and you're what now? Mold inspector. Mold inspector. Okay, and how long have you been doing that? Wow. I believe eight years now. Oh, okay. That's good. Thanks. So my other question to you is to get directly into uh, about our health journey, since you already stated that you're 64 years young. Uh, when did you start your health journey? Because me knowing you as your sister, you know, everybody else doesn't know your story. So if you would share when you started this healthy journey. Wow. Good question. I hadn't really thought about it. I've, I've exercised my whole life. Once I got in my 20s, I exercised to try and have my body look good. Once I got, once my mother got sick, our mother got sick. I got into more than just exercise. I got into exercise and health to try and live a long, healthy life. So I would say as far as the real health journey, I was 42, 41, 42 years old. Uh, so that's a little over 20 years of trying to live a healthy lifestyle. Right. And for you, what did that entail, a healthy lifestyle? Uh, exercise, eating right. Mainly, I'm not a vegetarian, I'm not a vegan, I'm not any of the, the labels. I try and eat, what is it? Dang. What's the biblical term? In small portions. And, and man, I can't even think of the word. <laughs> what is it? What would we call it? Moderation. Uh, in like moderation. Oh, OK, moderation. I don't on anything. And I've oh, maintained okay. the same body weight for 32 years. Oh, that's great. That's great. So, okay. So with that, you're, you said you started probably around 42 years old when you really started your health uh, journey. So, okay. So you eat, well, I know you uh, personally. So you're, I know you don't eat any red meat. I eat red meat. Very oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Everybody thinks it might be a few times a year, but I will. <laughs> I do. It's not a, on a regular diet. I've done, give the idea, I've fasted for seven days. I've been a vegan for 30 days. So like I say, I do everything in moderation and I'll try different things. 
I try and surprise my body so it's not used to the same things constantly. And that's good. That's a good thing. So, but do you eat pork? Oh, no, no, no. That's something I don't eat. Okay. I don't eat and I started and that uh, before I got into a health journey because of dad having high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. time he would go to the doctor. I would ask him what the doctor said because I think I'm, I think I favor him. Okay. Uh, far as health. Far as health. Far as health. Uh, yeah, being his son, he's they fed me as a kid. Mm -hmm. so uh, his doctor told him that he had high blood pressure, and he needed to get off certain things. I didn't want to wait till I got his age, so I started then. So I've been off of pork since I was in my mid twenties. Okay. Okay, and but I know one thing that you used to like to eat was shrimps. So right. do you still eat shrimps? No, I stopped that probably 20 years ago. And would you uh, like to share with my audience why you gave up shrimps? No, I don't want to share that. But th this is uh, <laughs> basically I was trying to eat at that time, kind of Old Testament biblically, so I don't want no arguments, Bible studies, people. But basically, uh, I was having dinner with my cousin and I was eating shrimp. And he know, knew that I was trying to eat healthy. And he brought up the fact that I shouldn't be eating pork. I mean, the shrimp, shrimp. And that it was in the Bible. So we went home that evening and he pulled it out and I stopped eating shrimp that day. Wow. Now that, that's a great testimony because, you know, and I'm not going to get into this Bible verse and everything like that. But, you know, if we stay true to the Bible, but some people say, you know, we're not supposed to eat scavengers, so right. certain right. foods, but uh, because it's not healthy for us. Exactly. But do we, but I'm not, this is not a question for you, but this is a question for my audience. Do we live in the Old Testament or do we live in the New Testament? Or do we combine the test, uh, the old and the New Testament and live out of both? But that's just a question for uh, my audience. And if they want to kind of debate that or we can talk about that at a later date, because that's really a deep subject right there. Exactly. But, but that's your journey. And I appreciate you sharing that journey because a lot of people really need to look at how they eat, why they eat. And, you know, you made a big choice because of your your beliefs. And that's yes. great. Exactly. And I don't push my beliefs on anyone else. Exactly. I don't either. I don't either. So moving on. So, so okay. So then, so, oh, so your exercise routine. So what kind of exercise do routine did you do? When well, you said you was exercising to look good. So after 40, you exercise to more be healthy. Right. right. And now to 64, how do you exercise to maintain right. uh, lifestyle? In my 20s, I lifted a lot of weights, not as much cardio. Uh, in my 40s, I did more cardio, I still lifted. And then in my 50s, I went on that P90X journey for roughly 10 years. Hit 60, I started a lot more cardio and lifting. Because uh, of COVID this year, it's mainly been cardio and some body weight exercises. Mm -hmm. So for your friends or your family that is over the age of 60, how would you, um, what kind of advice you would give, I'm going to say men over 60 because I can't address the male body and how it operates and functions. But since you're a man, uh, you could give a little bit more insight on you know uh, the diet of a man, the muscle mass of men, and what's best for men. Well, that's a, really I, I believe what's best for men is what's best for women. Uh, basically, for a guy, if you have an exercise, I recommend you see your physician and see if you can. And if it's been a while, I would start off slow, walking maybe, see if you can jog, get up. But everyone, male or female, needs to do. At least body weight exercise, if not some type of weight lifting. We need to build our muscle mass. Our muscle mass is what burns calories. Mm -hmm. uh, one pound of muscle burns about six calories per pound. 
Uh, your fat burns two calories per pound. So fat will burn, but it's, it's a lot slower. It was, it's one third the calories that fat, that muscle will burn. So you need muscle for your metabolism. And guys, we need, we need muscle and uh, good nutrition so that we don't get any estrogen in our bodies and get male breasts and uh, have problems with our libido. Did I hear you say male breasts? Yes, yes. That's a, that's a problem. If you, if you, if the ladies know, that's a problem. You see guys in their thirties that can wear you a bra, and uh, that is that is a problem. All right, now I'm not gonna go there. Okay. So, how that do we bad. how do we address men with the uh, with the uh, the tire around their waist? Wow. That's good. Uh, first of all, you need to burn more calories than you take in. You mm -hmm. have to burn a, an excess of 3,500 calories to lose one pound. So mm -hmm. we have to eat less. We eat too much. Uh, That's even true. me, this year, without me exercising as much, that's my calories. I exercise three to four times a week. I, had, I didn't because of COVID. And I found myself gaining a pound a month. So once I got on the scale, I was like, oh, no. Either I had to eat less or I had to start do back exercising to burn those excess calories. Guys, when we were in our teens, we think we, we ate a lot, but we ran, we played, we did a lot of things. As your lifestyle slows down, if it slows down, you can't eat the same amount of calories. You can't take it in. And people think just because I've been slim that – you got a fast metabolism. Most of my friends were skinny when we were in high school. Mm -hmm. Metabolism slows down because your body slows down. And while you're at sleep, at rest, your body changes. If you don't work mm -hmm. out, you don't need as much muscle. So your muscle atro has atrophy during the night. So you wake up a little less muscle, a little less muscle. You don't know you're getting fat. And all of a sudden, you see that gut. But you change... Before you see it, you've gotten fat. You've gotten fat. Way before, before you, you know it. Body before you know. from the inside out. Exactly. Oh, well, let me transition to that because a lot of people don't realize that that's true. That oh, yeah. if you're if you're not health if you look healthy on the outside, it's because of the inside. So right. now I'm going to transition over to the gut. You know, because our gut is our second brain, yes, and people don't understand that. What? Yes, it is. <laughs> so, you ain't gotta call me no yes ma'am uh so yeah so people gotta realize what you eat really determines your health and your well-being so i'm going to transition to uh just one of the tlc products i know that you take nutriverse and so what is it that you like about taking nutriverse oh uh, man that's a story in itself as uh, you know when you were selling <laughs> products i'm looking for a vitamin that was a liquid vitamin because it gets absorbed into your body a lot quicker. Yep. Uh, think think the Nutriburst was what, 90 what percent? 98% absorption. I ran, uh, I ran into a chemist in my line of business. I saw all these vitamins he has, so we were talking about it. And he says, this is per the chemist, that most vitamins, because of the fillers, binders, and coating, we might get 10 to 20% of that vitamin. So we, we wasted our money. So I was exactly. looking for a liquid vitamin that I could use that I know would absorb in my body most of it. So I would mm -hmm. get my money's worth. Exactly. And that's and what I, up again. And I said, that's what our vitamin does. I can't hear you. Okay, just a minute. I can't hear you. Okay, wait a minute. I'm just making sure we could get it to volume. Maybe we're getting the check. Can you hear me now? I can't hear you. Okay. How about now? Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So again, uh, yeah. So uh, Nutriverse, yeah, it goes directly into the body. So when you found out the Nutriverse uh, goes absorbs ninety eight percent absorption, and you saw the vitamins that is in Nutriverse, right? You you were on board, right? Right. And, that, and that's something, you know, I look at. I look at the ingredients. Right. Right. 
And I'm so happy that you rejoined. And not only did you just accept taking the vitamin, you have become a life changer as well. I know that you're not happy to tell people that or share that, but we are appreciative of you being a life changer because a lot of times, a lot of times you, um, you know, people watch you and just, and just see what you do. And, And that's the best way to, um, to show people what products are good because that's what we are. We just tell us, tell our story because the product TLC products sells themselves. We can't make any medical claims, but if you're eating a good diet, uh, doing what you need to exercise, that these products are good, very good product. So my other question is, um, um, so, um, Going forward, because, you know, as we age, we're aging gracefully, I think. Uh, What are you going to continue to do with your health journey? Well, I'm going to continue to... Well, one thing I do, and I think everyone should do uh, as we age, I I go to my physician every year. I I get blood work every year. I like to hear them tell me everything looks good and keep doing what you're doing, Mr. Jackson. then based on what he tells me, if I need to change anything, I would change it, change it. Uh, mm-hmm. So I, could, I want to continue exercising, mainly cardio, because I'm looking out for my heart, my internal organs, more than how I look on the outside. Right. So exercise, I believe in ex- you have to exercise for the rest of your life. Like you say, it's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So it's something I have to continue for the rest of my life and watch what I eat. Great. Well, I do really appreciate you taking this time to be my second guest and to share your journey of health and wellness, because we all are here to inspire other people to change their lifestyle, because life is what you make it. And I enjoy exercising now because of you, watching you over the years exercise. And the one thing I remember as a child growing up, when you would have your weights, I would get down there and lift weights with you. And it was just great growing up with two brothers and I was the only girl and you all treated me like I was your little brother. (laughs) Uh, brother. I treated you like a little princess. Who did the easy bake oven? Hey. (laughs) You know what? That is so funny because I was thinking about that uh, yesterday that uh, Christmas, somebody asked, what's something you remember from your childhood Christmas? I saw, I don't even know where I saw this at. But anyway, they said, what's the memory you have from your childhood? And that's the memory I had. My oldest brother cooking with me with my easy bake oven. That's right. Remember that. (laughs) You're the best. You're the best big brother. Yes, you are. So I, again, want to thank you because you really gave us a lot of good nuggets to share with our health, to teach people how we have to work from the inside out. Yep. You know, all everything goes from the inside, your skin, right. uh, your liver, your your liver, your uh, kidneys, well, like- all of that helps make your skin pretty, make your hair grow, nails grow. So all those things that on the surface people look at Right. Start on the inside. Exactly. Like you said, your gut is the most important thing. Yes. And once you get that in balance, everything else is great. Because what uh, another thing that our gut helps, we have good and bad bacteria in our exactly. gut. And once we get that balance, your body was designed to heal and cure itself. Amen. I'm not going to get too deep in this of my beliefs, but I just believe we were created as long as we treat our body right, our bodies will treat us right, and we can fight off any diseases, right. flu, exactly. uh, you know, all of those God, things. God don't make any mistakes. There's nothing like the human body. That is true. And a man that went over that last week, I mean, for people that don't know, my face, all my skin was burned off my face. And as Amanda said, it replaced itself. So, so God, God heals. He created us 
if we take care of what he gave us, we'll be okay. Well, now that you brought that up, I was going to segue out, but I have to go back to that story of your uh, accident. So would you like to share that also with my audience? Uh, what year was it that you 19, had that accident? 1984, December 1984. I was uh, working on a furnace at a oil refinery. There was a loud explosion. I was on top of a ladder. I turned and there was a large fire coming, ball of fire coming at me. Uh, luckily it was winter. I turned, tried to get away from it. Uh, only thing on my body that was exposed that could burn was my face. And <laughs> anybody that's had a small burn, that hurts. So my whole face was being burnt alive. I was in a great deal of pain. I felt I couldn't take it anymore. So I gave myself to the Lord. I said, God, take me, watch over my wife and child. I bent over and the next thing I found myself 50 yards from where the fire was at. And obviously I'm here. I survived. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, that was an experience. Yes. So again, we're going to talk about how long it took your face to heal because yes, you were burnt. You right. want to tell you want to tell the story of how when you first saw yourself? <laughs> uh, I was in the hot emergency room. The doctors was taking all the burnt skin off my face. Obviously, I hadn't seen myself. The guys in the emergency vehicle, I asked them because me, you, Tim, and our spouses were going to go out for New Year's. So I was like, New Year's next week, will I be able to go out with my brother and sister? God told me, yeah, you look like you got a bad sunburn. So I felt good. Got to the emergency. The doctor's pulling the skin off my face. He got the nurses with him. He told one of the nurses, I could tell this guy used to be good looking. I heard that used to be good looking. So I'm like, what is he talking about? So uh, they wrapped me up. Looked like, a, what is that, a mummy. Right. My brother and his friend Tony Adams came to get me from the hospital. Uh, and then the expression on their face told me something was wrong with my face, other than a sunburn. So after that, I went into the bathroom, saw my face for the first time. And that's the only time I cried. But everything's good. Uh, basically, after the wrappings came off, all the dead skin came off. I was the white black guy at work. <laughs> so it took a while for that. Every 30 days, I believe it was, your, your, your skin replaces itself. So yeah. It took me, I went from white face to me and my mother went and got some makeup for people that had burns. Then I looked like Donald Trump. I was orange. Uh, there, <laughs> yeah, I was orange. That does not look good. Uh, from there, I think it took probably six months before I had the skin color that I have now. And only a few people like my sister can tell. <laughs> yes, yes, I still can tell. But that's okay. I have my brother. I'm thankful. Up, yeah, I'm okay. I am thankful and grateful. I can't hear you. Okay, Stanley. Can you hear me now? No, ma'am. Okay. Just a minute. Can you hear me now? No. Just a minute. Let's see. Keep on going. Okay. I'm going to keep talking. So, oh, okay. so, <laughs> now I can hear. Okay, okay. So I, I, I don't even know what I was saying, but anyway. You saying thank you, brother. Yeah, <laughs> I am so thankful. I am so thankful and grateful to the Most High God that He has spared you and let you live a good life, and you still living a great life. It's just been a blessing for you to be a part of my life, my children's life. Uh, I don't know what it would be like without you. And I don't want to get emotional because that story does touch me uh, when I hear you tell your story. Because the one thing about it is that it's only the three of us. I have two older brothers 
and I am the baby girl. And I've always been, as with Stanley, he's always did treat me like a princess. And so I don't know what I would do without him. But again, I am thankful to God that you are still here among uh, us. And so with that being said, I am just again happy that you participated with my DTW, uh, Denise Total Wellness, and this life journey of health and wellness because you are the first person that really started this for me. And like you said, mm -hmm. once our mother passed, I really kicked it in and started researching because she died of colon mm -hmm. cancer. Right. And mm -hmm. that just made me want to um, do everything in my power to live a long life because uh, she died at 62. I just 62. turned six, 63. 63, sorry. And the numbers got <laughs> Okay, numbers guy, 63. And, and so. I appreciate being 64. Yes. And so um, with me turning 60 this year, you know, that's a big deal for me because I feel like I'm getting closer to that age and I just want to make sure my health and wealth is all intact and again thank you Stanley for sharing to my friends and everybody out here in the face uh, Facebook world and showing us what it is to be like to be 64 years young because I still think that you're a young person because you can do a lot of things that these 30 year olds can't do because you will jump down and do some push-ups with the best of them <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. I like to be the young guy. Yes. I, that's what keeps you young. That right. is exactly. truly what keeps you young. Right. My, my, yep. my children and my grandchildren. Exactly. Yep. So, again, thank you for being a part of this. And we will see you maybe sometime next year. Maybe you'll yes, come back on and we'll talk about something else. All right. I love you. I love you, too. All right, baby. All right, take care. All right, bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining DTW. And we'll see you next week on Monday and where I will have the fitness evangelist talking about Crohn's disease. So thank you, everyone, who participated, who watched me live today. And if you um, haven't been paying We've been offering, we've, I had Christmas parties. My team, uh, Team Flow, we have done a Christmas party yesterday. We're going to do a Christmas party tomorrow night, Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. So please be there. We will be raffling off different prizes. So please be there. And I hope you all have a great day. And I hope we inspired you to get up off the couch and do some exercising and change your lifestyle. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you all next Monday with the Fitness Evangelist. Have a great day.